Uh, hi everyone, this is Miss Anna from the Eldersburg branch. Um, I'm the only one here, so I'm not wearing my mask. Only one in the room. Uh, otherwise I'd be wearing it. But I'm here today for to show you how to make a paper circuit Valentine's card that lights up. You can't really see it because the room is bright. But we're going to be using a template and some copper tape and a battery in order to make a card that actually lights up. And for this kit, um, I think you'll get everything you need in your bag, aside from some decorations. You'll get a battery that looks like this. You will get a template that looks like this. This one's double-sided. One side has a heart on it, the other has your pattern, and this is going to be your light switch. And you will get a red LED light and a strip of conductive copper tape. And we're going to use these supplies to make a circuit so that your card will light up. And at the end of the video, I'll explain the sciencey stuff behind how it works. But with that said, I'm gonna get started. I just went ahead and shut the lights off thinking you'd be able to see the light better, but it turns out you can't see anything. But this is what the light looks like on your card. And I'm just pressing down on that heart button and you can see how it lights up. So I've tilted my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing you want to do is take the piece of your template that has the design on it and the heart on it, and we're going to just go ahead and fold that in half, give it a good crease, and you want to fold it so that the template part is on the inside and the heart is on the outside, so it'll look like this, and you open it like this. This is where your circuit's going to go, and this is going to be the front of your card. Next, you're going to take your LED light. This part's a little hard. You might want to ask an adult to help you. And you're going to take one of the leads, and you see these two little circles by the number one and number eight. This is The numbers are the order in which you do the steps. You're going to go to the very end of that line in the circle and poke a hole with the lead. The leads are these little metal prongs on your LED light. I should have clarified that. These little metal prongs here are called the leads. And it's important to notice that there is a shorter one and a longer one. Do the, do the makeup tutorial thing so I can see what I'm talking about. But you're going to poke a hole on both of these. So I'll even bring that up. Just go to the very end of the lead there. And just maneuver it until it pokes a hole. Then you'll go back around to the front. And if I were to poke the leads through... The two little holes from the front. I'm going to be taking them out because that doesn't actually go in permanently till later. But this is where my light will go. And now I'm going to go ahead and decorate the card around the light. Now this is the button you're going to press to make the card light up. And this is where the light will be so you can decorate it however you want around the card. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get back to you. And actually, I decorated an entire one, but it's vanished off the face of the earth. I don't know what's happened to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Alright, so I decorated my card with like a little light bulb pun. And still would like to know where my original card went, but that's beside the point. But now I'm going to open this card, and you'll notice that now it's time to make our circuit. And you'll notice that each space has like a little number by it. This is the template we're going to follow for our instructions. So I'm going to grab my copper tape and a pair of scissors and I'm going to start making the circuit. So for number one we're going to take a piece of copper tape to fill that space there and cut it off and the goal for number one is just to cover that up. And you'll see here a line here. Just remember that for later. Remember that was there. Uh, to get the copper tape off the backing, just use your nail and take it off carefully. Uh, be warned that the corners can be a little sharp. Um, like you can get paper cuts from this just like you would with paper. So just be cautious. And I like to kind of fold over the back like this while I set it. So it's something to hold it by. And you're just going to line that up and fill it in and rub it down. So I have it looking like that. Uh, next, I'm going to take my strip of tape and I'm going to line up the number two spot 
and make sure that these are co that the top of number two covers up the beginning of number one. It should look like this, not like this. You don't want any gaps. You need to create a solid path. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that much off. And make sure it fits. It does. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it on. And I'm going to do the same with number three. Now watch that little spot right here where the gap is. That's going to be very important for your switch. Because since we're leaving that gap, and as I talk, I'm just going to count number three. Uh, because we leave that gap, the circuit is not complete. So that means that your light bulb will just be on forever. If we were to complete the circuit and then attach the light bulb, the light bulb would just stay on. It would burn out really quickly. But since we're leaving that gap, that leaves a spot for an on and off switch. So that way, we can just make sure the card lights up when we press the button. And you'll notice, if you hold this up to a light, which I can't really replicate here, but this little spot right here lines up perfectly with this heart on the front of your card, so that you have a button to press. Uh, next, I'm going to do the little number 5 spot. Or number 4, excuse me. Apparently, I don't know my numbers. I'm going to line that up. And... Yep. Can't imagine this is super exciting to watch. I'm actually gonna redo that a teeny bit. There we go. So now we've gotten to number five. We're gonna do something a little different here. So this is where we need to get our battery out. You'll have a battery that looks like this in your kit. It's a little lithium coin cell battery. It looks like this, and you'll notice that there's the plus side, and this is the minus side, even though it doesn't say minus on it. So this is the positive side of the battery. We want to make sure we have our positive sign up. So you're going to set that on the little circle here. But first thing you're going to do is take some more of your copper tape, and stick it onto this spot. So you're going to start where it says number four there. And sometimes it takes the copper tape a minute to stick. You just got to hold it down and just go all the way up to the end of that dotted rectangle area. And you can cut it off there. And again, making sure that our plus sign is up, we're going to stick our cop our battery right there. And we're going to go, I need to just get some more copper tape, I think. And while making sure that this stays in place, you're going to start, you got to take the backing off. You're going to start on this spot right here where it says number seven, and you'll see it says place the copper tape over the battery. So you're going to do that by starting at the corner here. Peel off your backing as you go. And when you get to the battery, just keep folding that copper tape over so you've got something that looks like this. And I'm going to cut that off. So the copper tape is kind of holding the battery down. It can still kind of go up and down like this, but it is there is copper tape on either side of your battery there. That's what you want to see. The next thing our instructions say to do is to cover the battery with some clear tape. And this is just to keep your battery from falling off. So you're just going to take some clear tape. I just got some packing tape. Um, something all around your house. And where you see that dotted rectangle there, just cover this up. It won't affect... The conductiveness of anything, it'll just hold that down without, so that you can use your card without the battery falling off. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off that excess. And now our card looks like this. And for step number eight, we're just going to take a little more copper tape and fill that last little area there and cut off this excess so there we've got the basic trace for the circuit the path that the circuit uses is called a trace 
So now it's time to plug in our LED light. And so this is remember when we punch those holes in the beginning, these are when those are gonna come into this, this is when those are gonna come into play again. So once again, you'll notice that the little prongs, the leads, that there's a short lead and a long one. So we got this longer one here. And it is important that you follow the instructions here as to where each one goes. So the long lead, the longer side, let me make sure I've got this all bent right. So according to our number nine on our instructions, the long side needs to go in this hole by where number eight is. So I'm gonna flip this over and that would be this first hole here. And I'm gonna make sure that the long lead goes into that hole and the short lead goes into the other hole. And I'm gonna just push my LED all the way in and then put it up. So you'll be bending the wires on the back. So your light will look like that. And then take your wires, your leads, and make them kind of an L shape so that each lead is sitting on top of a piece of copper tape. It'll look like this. Then you need to cover those up and hold them down. So you're going to take a piece of copper tape. About this long. And take the backing off. And set it on top of that lead and it's not going to stick right away you kind of have to push it down around the lead but just make sure that's really secure and rub it down this is going to make sure that everything's connected and you're going to do the same thing with the other lead And I can't imagine this is too exciting to watch, so I shall update you when it's ready. So that should, provided we've done everything right, finished up our circuit. But we also need to make the switch. So we have step 11 right here. This is going to be our switch. So as I mentioned earlier, to close up this gap here, we're going to use this little thing, this little bar. And when you put it in your card like this, it completes the circuit. So all we need to do for this step is just take some copper tape, because copper is conductive, and just fill, stick it right into that rectangle. And cut off your excess. And now you have a switch. And you're going to want to go ahead and fold this in half on your black line there. Make sure that the switch part is on the outside. So it looks like this. So you're going to plug that into your card like that and fold it over. So to complete our circuit, we're just going to fold this over and press our button. And it blinked for a second there. It does take a little finagling to make sure that you're closing your circuit. But when you press the button, it should light up. And it's kind of hard to see because we're in a bright room, but I promise it is lighting up. Kind of got to get it in just the right position, to be honest. But you'll press down on that heart button and it should light. A good thing to do is just kind of open your card and maneuver the switch into position. There we go. It might take a few tries to position it just right, but it will light up. So now I've got just the right spot that you can see it is glowing. It's just hard to see in the bright room. But if you finish that circuit just right, it will light up. And then if you open your card and you want to like put it in the mail, hypothetically, or give it to someone, but you don't want that light to burn out, you can just flip your switch over like this. And 
then you can write a message on here or here, anywhere you like in the card. And that is how you make a paper circuit Valentine's card that lights up. Let's see if I can get it to go one more time. There it goes. Light up circuit card. If you notice any issues with your card not lighting up, the first two things to check is A, that your leads are secure enough. Sometimes if the copper tape pops off, it won't conduct. Uh, another thing is make sure the battery is plus side up. Make sure that this space is not covered up. And make sure that these two wires, the two leads, are not touching at all. If they touch, they'll short out. So how does the paper circuit work? So in order to create a circuit or a path for electrons to flow to create electricity, you need a power source, uh, something to be powered, in this case the light bulb, and traces. Traces are the path that the electrons take in order to produce electricity. So in our case, the battery is the power source, the light bulb is the thing being powered, and the copper tape serves as our traces. And you also have to make sure that your traces are conductive. This means that it can, can say it can conduct, that's, that's redundant. But that means that electrons are able to pass through it in order to produce the electricity. So a material such as copper is conductive. Not all metals are, but copper works fine. So when I create the path with the copper tape, I am creating a path for the electrons to flow from the power source to the light bulb and therefore the electrons are able to travel to the light bulb and light the light. And when the electrons are flowing that creates a current of the electricity and it does need a completed circuit so since to get to um, its destination in order to light the light. So that's why we left a gap so that if we had completed that, the current would just be flowing forever and the light bulb would just stay lit and we don't want it to burn out. So when we add the switch, we complete the circuit and this allows the light to light. And that creates a very simple circuit. I feel like I'm not explaining that super well. I'll see if I can include any like bonus info. Um, there's lots of great videos that explain how circuits work on YouTube. But That is how you make a car that lights up using, and you can't really see well because I'm in a brightly lit room, but that is how you use conductive materials on a battery and an LED light to make a Valentine's car that lights up. And I hope you all had a great time with this craft. Oh, there it goes. Yay. But I hope you all had a great time. Have a great Valentine's Day. Um, Please, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me at ajohns at carr.org. Um, I hope you have fun. And show us, send in pictures of your card, too. I love seeing pictures of your guys' project. It always makes my day. But everyone have a great day. Um, have fun with your craft. And bye.